Football is back next month. It'll be a three-month gap since we last saw a game. Absolutely crazy. Huge period of inactivity. So the players are back in training, getting as fit and as ready as they can for the start of the new season. Some are going the extra mile by doing some individual training at home. Harry Kane in particular is looking particularly good. And our own veteran Mark Noble is looking sharp and ready for action. But who's your team? I've seen a couple of teams put up on the internet of people talking about what they'd like to be their first team when we play Wolves. I thought, oh, OK, I'll have a go at this. I'll play this game. So here is my 11 as it stands at the moment. And of course, subject to change to start against Wolves. I think we we think we might be playing on a Friday, by the way, at eight o'clock. So that's gonna that's gonna be interesting to see what happens um with that one. Not that it matters, it's our first game back and here's my team. The goalkeeper of course is the easiest pick of the lot. Fabianski, I don't even have to justify it, do I? Fabianski in goal. Right back. A little bit more tricky. But you've got to take into context the current situation. And I say subject to change. Might be a different team next week. But as it stands at the moment, Ryan Fredericks starts at right back. We don't even know if Ngaki is going to stay. At the moment, he's got, what, weeks, if that. Is he, I, he might have three or four weeks left on his contract or something like that. He's shown no sign that he's going to stay. So I think you've got to play Fredericks there, realistically. Um We may find that Ben Johnson has played particularly well in training. You just don't know. But I think Ryan Fredericks gets it. The two centre halves, as you are really, Diop. Let's, let's. I think I'm expecting big things from Diop. Particularly, look, we're in a relegation scrap. He cost 23 million quid. He was captain of Toulouse, uh, which um, and 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 was and was rumoured to be the next big thing uh, in French football. So uh, he's a good player as well, an absolutely fantastic player, coveted by. Um, Tottenham and Manchester United. I hope he shows that not only is he £23 million pound player, I hope that he shows that he's the £50 million pound player that people were prepared to buy. So uh, Diop goes in, and I wouldn't mess up that, that defensive partnership. Ogbonna's back. Not only has Ogbonna back, there was there was rumours that he had uh, a, little, a little tweak to his calf or whatever it was. He's fine. He's back. He's training. And he's also our best defender. He's Mr. Consistent, really. It's funny, isn't it? Because you only got to look back not too long. And people, some people are wanting him out. He takes a little while to get going when he gets back in the team. But once he gets, he cements his place and he stays in the team, he's a good player. And somebody I, I, I don't think would look out of place at a bigger team. It's funny, we discussed Diop going to a bigger team. I, I, I could see Ogbonna... I could see Ogbonna playing for Manchester United. I could see Ogbonna playing for uh, Man City, something like that. I think he's good enough. Uh, of course, he has played for bigger teams. He's played for Italy, played for Juventus. That's why. He's a, he's a good player, a big player, and we need him in the team. We need him fit and fire him. Left back, I thought it was going to be difficult, but now we know that Cresswell was back in training. Um... I just don't think there's any choice. I think it's Cresswell has to play in that position. It's it's, it's as simple as that, really. Um, Masuaku. We've discussed Masuaku within the last week, so there's no point um, in labour labouring it again. Uh, the only thing that's in my mind is the first game is against Wolves, so it's going to be against Traore, and we're going to have we're going to have to deal with that on the left hand side on the left wing. So we'll get to that. But Cresswell, Cresswell. Now I've got. For this one, I want two people holding, really. So I want Declan Rice. Uh, it's, uh, why would you not play Declan Rice? I mean, how many times has Declan Rice got man in the match for West Ham? All the time. Declan Rice, I won't explain it anymore. He goes in there. I want to play Suchek, Sorchek, Sochek. I mean, that's not three players. That's one player. One player. Whichever way you want to pronounce it, he's in there next to Declan Rice. He's a marauding athlete who runs around a lot. Headers, tackles, long-range passing. It was funny, actually, because there was a stat that came out that at one point it was, I think it was that Fornals had covered more distance than any other midfielder in the Premier League. And then about a week before that, there'd been a stat uh, that Socek had covered 
more distance than any player in the West Ham squad. Of course, they can't both be true, but it's OK. I don't want to be pernickety. I think the point is they both run a lot. And as David Moyes likes to say, you don't run, you don't play. So, Declan Rice um, and Suchek in there, in front of the back four. Now, I am actually going to pick Fornals, but not on the left, OK? I'm going to pick Fornals to play in the midfield as a number 10, in essence. And just basically operating in that zone ahead of the two central midfielders, but with licence to roam, to dictate play, to pick it up, to play the incisive pass. Now, I do think that we won't get overrun in midfield by doing that because I think he has so much endeavour, as I just discussed, that he will get back and he will help out when needed. So he plays there. The reason he plays there is because I just think he's better suited to the position, but also I don't feel you can play him on the left. He's not a left winger. I think in particularly not a left winger when you come up against the Dharma Traore because you're going to have to double up, right? Because he's fast, he's, he's brilliant, he's strong. In fact, I don't know why Adama Traore has really not been linked with all the big clubs. You don't seem to hear, you don't seem to hear him linked with, you know, with Real Madrid and Paris Saint-Germain and, and so on and so forth, or even the big clubs in, in this country. It's, it's weird, isn't it? Because... Every time I see him, he looks like the best player around. So, um, anyway, he's absolutely brilliant. And we're going to need to double up. So, the other person that's helping Cresswell, it's got to be quick, which is why it's Felipe Anderson. Maybe not everybody's favourite, but he does track back, believe it or not. Even though he gets accused of not trying and not wanting to, he does track back. I've seen him in the left-back position an awful lot of times, and he's quick enough to. So, Cresswell's going to need help. I think that's where it comes from. And, of course, it does give us the pace on the counter-attack as well. On the right-hand side is Bowen. How could you pick anyone else? I think one of the one of the worst things about football stopping was I felt we were denied what was a, what was a blooming relationship between, uh, between Bowen and the fans. And, and we were denied the opportunity to see him grow and see him grow into the team and develop on what was clearly a journey to become a West Ham regular. He will always score goals. He drifts into those positions. Uh, the, the goal that he scored was he'd actually, he'd actually done exactly the same thing in the game before and not scored. So he times his runs really, really well. Um, he's intelligent. He's bright. I like him. We all like him, don't we? So, yeah, so he gets in on the right-hand side, which just leaves, if I've done my maths correctly, one more player up front on his own, and that would be Mikel Antonio. Now, I do appreciate that this is not how David Moyes has been playing. I think there were times in the last couple of games and uh, Haller and Antonio were up top together, although I did feel Antonio was pulling wider. Um a lot at a time, so I didn't feel it was always always a two up. And I did like that. But this is my this is my team, so I'm going with why have I picked Antonio uh over our record signing? Well, because he's Mikel Antonio. Because he's he gives you everything. He's he's got everything. He's got strength, he's got determination, um, he's got speed and we're gonna need that speed. And he just doesn't he's a nightmare. If you were a central defender and you read on the team sheet that you're you got Mikel Antonio. You'd be thinking, oh, you'd be thinking, oh, crikey, really? really? Oh, he's he's going he's gonna to knock me about. I'm going to be running all over the place. He will not stop. Defenders will come up against more skillful players than Mikel Antonio. And Mikel Antonio is highly likely to um, to drop his shoulder, shift the ball onto his left foot, kick it and send it um, higher than Elon Musk's rocket. Let's be fair. But he also sometimes scores a goal and creates a goal. And... He's one of our best players and we missed him. And if he's fit, he plays. The biggest problem with Mikel Antonio is that he is not always fit. So there is my team. That's it, really. I'd like to know yours, but I think both your team and mine are subject to change, right? We can change our mind in a, in a week or two when we find more tittle-tattle from the training ground, when we find out different things. The rumours will start to, start to leak out on who's doing well at training, who's not doing well at training. We might change our mind. I've left Mark Noble out, I know, but that's my team. I've left Sebastian Heller, Mark Noble. Anyone else controversial I've left out? 
I don't think so. I don't think Yarmolenko can get back in, really. It's not straight away, can he? Um, maybe right back is slightly controversial. I don't think so. I don't, I think, I'll, I'll be interested to see uh, who, would do, who would do something differently. Maybe right back's the most contentious of them all. Um, there's only, only 11 players can play on the pitch, unless you cheat. <laughs>